Hello, incredible one. Welcome to the Leverage Your Incredible Factor business podcast, the place to be to grow a business that shakes the planet. I'm your host, spiritual business growth coach, Darnielle J. Harmon. Join me each week for inspiring stories, powerful interviews, and business growth strategy to help you experience abundance in your life because of your business. Oh, and one more thing, on this podcast, I'm going to keep it all the way real with you about the good, the bad, the ugly, and the absolutely incredible of small business ownership. And don't worry, everything I have to share will help you to build a business that funds the life you crave. Let's jump into today's episode. You're listening to the Leverage Your Incredible Factor podcast with Darnielle Jervie Harmon. If this is your first time joining me for the podcast, here's what I'd like for you to know about me. First and foremost, I am the absolute best at combining spiritual principles with business growth strategy to turn entrepreneurs into multiple six and seven figure CEOs. Second, I don't do hustle and grind. I do spirituality and systems. And you might be wondering, what in the devil is an incredible factor? And if so, I invite you to go all the way back to the very first episode of this podcast. It's aptly titled, Exactly What is the Incredible Factor? There's even a cool worksheet that I want you to do that will help you to find yours. Oh, I will likely say some things that will make you laugh, a few things that could make you cry, and definitely make you question if you are ready to leverage your incredible factor. Remember, I'm a coach, and my job is to tell you what you don't want to hear and show you what you don't want to see, all to help you to become who God created you to be. I'm so excited that you're here. This episode is powered by Profit from Live Events. If you are currently holding live events that do not offer you inspiration financially and spiritually, you need to join us this September in Atlanta, September 11th through the 13th. Go learn more now at IncredibleFactorEvents.com. In today's episode, I am sharing with you another Incredible Factor University client interview. This time around, I am chatting with the incomparable Marissa Q. Payne. In my own words, Marissa is a powerful tour de force in the space of transformation. She's the principal of the Pain-Free Coaching and Consulting Group, the co-founder of the Foundation for Successful Marriages, and the talent behind the powerful new brand, Marissa Q. Payne. She's a visionary, an everyday wife, mom, sister, daughter, friend, and servant of the Most High God. And she is on her way to building a business and life that is beyond her wildest dreams. What I love about this client interview with Marissa is we cover the basis, right? We talk about who she was before we worked together. We talked about the power that occurred in us working together. And we share some other really powerful nuggets that will truly change your life if you let them, especially if you are ready to take the next step through creating a massive shift for yourself. I can't wait to hear how much you enjoy this interview. Listen, my favorite part was when she talked about doing it afraid. So make sure that you listen in and catch that. Let's jump into my interview with Marissa Q. Payne. Hello, incredible ones. Danielle here with another big cheesy smile because I am sitting with another one of my amazing loves, my amazing clients, Marissa Q. Payne. And despite her name, she is not a pain. She is actually changing the world. And so it is my joy and my honor to share her with you guys today as a part of this Incredible Factor University client interview series. So what I love about Marissa is she is at the top of her game. She is one of the best who ever did it in terms of planning, strategy, and knowing what the vision is. And It's a joy for me. Like I still sometimes pinch myself because I get to work with her. I get to call her client and friend. And in a lot of ways, her and her husband, they're mentors to me and my new husband. You know, I mean, just amazing what gets to happen because of MQP, as we like to call her. So without further ado, introducing to some and presenting to others, Miss Marissa Q. Payne. Marissa, tell everybody who you are in your own words. 
Hey, everybody. I um, am super, super excited to be here. It's, um, I don't know where the time went. You know, I'm sure we'll get into that, but it's been several, several years since I've been working with Darnia, and she's just like, a fabric, like a part of, um, you know, what we do here. But I'm super, super excited. I am the principal and CEO of um, Pain Free Coaching and Consulting, which is a change management consulting firm based in St. Louis. Um, I'm co-founder of the Foundation for Successful Marriages. And um, personally, my personal passion and mission is um, helping women get real, get raw, and get ready um, for the life that they really want but didn't really think was possible. So. Yeah. Um, a little bit about me and who I am. And uh, be on the lookout. She didn't say it, but I'm going to say it. Be on the lookout for more with Marissa. <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, like I got chills just as I just said it. Did you get chills? Like, ah, this is the moment that we have been waiting for in the, what, four years we've been working together. I've been waiting for this moment. So I'm so excited. So tell them, how did you find out about me and why did you choose to invest in yourself through working with me? Got you. So I am here representing the suspicious, astute um, prospects out there in the world because that was definitely me. I am highly analytical. I do a lot of research and that sort of thing. And so I um, was originally introduced um, to uh, Darnielle through a, a friend of mine, and she was having the um, Women Bringing the Incredible Back Telesummit. Mm -hmm. um, and so that was, that was my first exposure um, to Danielle and the other women that she um, had on that telesummit. And from there, I, um, you know, started to just kind of follow her and, and listen along. I was planning to attend the Unleash event. And I think something happened personally where I had a conflict. And so I ended up um, purchasing or getting um, the Magnetic Marketing Success Formula. Um, and that like became a part of, like I said, the fabric. So it was on CD and we would still had CDs and cards back then. So I used to listen to it um, in the car all the time. And my kids and my husband were just like, who is this? <laughs> And why is she always here? Um, but I was in the, at the time I was um, earlier in my business. So I've been in business now, I'll celebrate seven years this year, but so this was, you know, four um, or plus years ago. Um, so I was, a, I had a six figure contract, um, but um, that contract was going to be ending or I was really ready for it to end. And it was just one person. So I wasn't really a six figure business. I just had a six figure contract and I was trying to figure out how do I become a real business because I'd learned um, that I basically went from, you know, job and created another job for myself, which was not what I wanted to do. Um, and so um, I finally eventually um, made, decided to make the investment and did a um, two or three day strategic business retreat um, with Danielle, which just like phew, opened up, you know, the heavens in terms of my knowledge, my awareness, my confidence in myself and what was possible. I had a lot of what I call thinking, thinking um, going on that was really um, contributing to um, my um, lack of progress. Um, and I just kept, you know, inching my way into the community before making the big investment to be a become a part of the year-long program, um, which I've now been a part of for three years. And um, yeah, made all the difference in the world uh, for me as an entrepreneur. So I am officially now a multi-six-figure business owner um, with multiple brands. <laughs> And uh, completely, completely different um, from where I was when I started um, and where I am now. So what, what has been the biggest change? And I want you to tell me the biggest change in your business and then the biggest change in your life. Um, the biggest change in my business is that I, I have a business. I have businesses, actually. Mm -hmm. Um, now and I understand that so I've gone from contractor to CEO mm -hmm. uh, one of my favorite things in the world is um, being able to travel and not be available to the business and there's still business going on um, when we are doing multiple trainings or events or facilitations at the same time you know I have three or four people going at the same time 
um, that's like transformational. So I, you know, I, I actually am a business owner. I'm a CEO of a company. I'm not just a contractor. Um, so that by far is the biggest shift I would say for the business, which obviously is still room for growing and we're still moving. Um, but we've come a very long way. Um, and, and having an established brand, you know, um, pain free, um, is known incredible both regionally and nationally. Um, a lot of the majority of our business is word of mouth. Um, and, and every week we're getting new inquiries um, from someone that heard something about something. Um, and so again, it's, it's a new, um, it's a completely different business. Mm -hmm. um, and personally, I think because of that, um, I have been able to come into my own. You know, you believed in me when I didn't believe necessarily in myself. Mm -hmm. um, you saw in me um, what I couldn't, what I didn't see in myself. I could get a little emotional, and you know, I hate it when you do that. <laughs> yeah, I, look, I'm tearing up too. I'm like, oh my gosh, we're going there. Like, okay, <laughs> let's do it. I got my tissue. I'm ready. <laughs> But um, yeah, you know, it's, it's, I, I didn't have business owners in my space. Um, I, did, I knew that this is what I was supposed to be doing, but I had, like I said, I had a lot of stinking thinking, who does she think she is, all of that's trash. Mm -hmm. and, um, and, and I wasn't as confident because I'm, I'm walking in foreign territory. And um, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I say be afraid, but go anyway is one of my big mantras. Um, and it's, again, not to say that I'm not still afraid sometimes, but I am such a different, I'm fully, more fully myself um, and who I was supposed to, always supposed to be um, personally as a result of what I've seen myself accomplish mm -hmm. from scratch from my kitchen table. Because I know where it started and where it is now is just like, I'm a Bahama whatever. <laughs> I, you know what I love? I love watching the story change, right? I remember when I first met you, the story was, all I know how to be is this contractor and I have this one contract and it's going and what if nobody else wants to give me business, right? And, and actually every year you say that, and then you like <laughs> double what you did the previous year, which I just, I love that, right? Yeah. But today you are so much more confident. You don't have all the answers, right? right. But you, you're so much more settled in who, who Marissa is and what Marissa brings to the table. And I, like having watched that evolution and seeing how it shows up, I imagine you were always this person in pockets of your life. Yeah. But to see it show up in every area of your life, right? That was the part that I love. And then I still remember when you're, when you brought Mr. Payne to unleash and he got up on the microphone and he talked about the change that is MQP, right? And he knew you before any of us knew you and he knew the story that you were fighting against personally, yeah. which I think is part of the reason why you held yourself to such a hard standard because of that story, right? The stinking thinking that it created. And I just, it's so funny because if, like, if you think I'm critical, then you should meet Dr. Payne, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, like I said, he was, you know, the investment that was necessary that I was making, you know, he would question it and are you, I mean, I didn't necessarily need his permission by any stretch, but he's just like, ah, uh, you know, he's like, oh, I can read about that. I can learn about that or what have you. But the year that he actually attended um, unleash with me, um, he became a believer. And so I, you know, never again have to um, have that conversation with him. And he's, you know, when I get stuck and I'm having, you know, um, trying to decide something, he's just like, well, did you ask Danielle? You know, like he is like, and I'm just like, we're not talking about Danielle right now. <laughs> you know? He's all in and he can't, you know, he's come to stuff, right? You know what I mean? Like, I just love, I just love that I've been able to truly become a part of your life. Like, I feel like we're doing life together. Like in some way, shape, form or fashion, we will be connected because our journeys were cemented together by God. Like God ordained this. 
And thank God. Yes, thank God. Like, and just being open, even in, in your criticalness. And like, I just remember me, her first conversation, I was like, I don't know. I don't know about that, Marissa. <laughs> I don't know about her guy. And guys like, she is your assignment, right? And just being like, okay, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be open to what's possible and just to know you, to love you, to watch you, to watch you grow, to see how um your children, I mean, like when we first started working together, I don't know if anybody was in college. You know, your oldest son was in college, maybe. Yeah, and then like now we got all the babies, <laughs> all the babies <laughs> out of the nest, and being on empty nest ish right, and loving like, it. I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's just it's amazing. Like it's just amazing. I can't. I could not have imagined when I said yes to God, I would do this work that it would have this kind of impact and this ripple effect. And it's part of the reason for those of you who are watching why I decided to do this interview series, like to tell the stories that the testimonials don't tell. Like, I will be honest and say, I lead with the money because I'm a business coach. But it's so much more than the money. So much more. Um, yeah, and, it, and, and you continue to grow and evolve. And I love it, you know, again, in terms of like the, the geography doesn't matter, right? Mm -hmm. Like I, for at least two and a half years, faithfully, you know, attended the um, business retreats quarterly. Um, mm -hmm. Like that was my air, <laughs> you know, qu um, quarter after quarter. It was just like, make your way to the next retreat, you know, right. get it when you go and get filled up and set some new strategy and go back, you know, come back home and, you know, work it out. And it's like, just when you're feeling, you know, low again, it's like, go back to the filling station, right? right. Like that. <laughs> was um, a critical part of that growth and progress and and the community of women you know it's not um we're connected but there are also a community of other clients that you work with dynamic women that are out here also and men but mostly women um that are out here you know working doing working towards their goals trying to be their very best um and you know so we that has been my support network, you know, and none of them are in St. None of them are in Missouri. <laughs> <laughs> right. But yeah, I mean, it is amazing to be a magnet for high achieving women. I mean, I have the creme de la creme. I don't know what anybody else is out there telling you, but I got the creme de la creme over here at IFU. And, and to see them all grow in, um, explore God in new ways and deepen their relationship with God. And as a result, reach a new height in their business, right? And then to have the support to know that it's okay and that they can do it. Like, it's just phenomenal. I mean, like, I don't know. Like I mean, it doesn't exist. The space where spiritual and business come together, you know, um, because so there's, there's this, you know, um, myth that you have to, you know, check your faith at the door and you know but in this community like we bring all of it so we can bring our full self um yeah. to it and the, i mean there's just it's not a conflict right you're not like being one person over here and another person over there like that is huge um and, and so helpful and instrumental um to success for sure yeah i agree so you know they're listening and they're like yeah 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 marissa i mean but like what would you share with anybody who's trying to decide if they should have a conversation with me or a member of the team to see if I'm the right fit. Cause I know I'm not for everybody, but I know that if I am for you, I am for you. I will partner with you. I will do life with you. What would you share with them? <laughs> Sorry. I hate it when you do this to me. Um, <laughs> so I would say, um, if you've been thinking about it, you already know. Mm -hmm. Um, and there are a lot, it's a very busy um, space, right? There are a lot of coaches, a lot of consultants, a lot of strategists. There's marketing and sales and branding and accounting and all of that stuff is there. Um, but I, and, and, and I can tell you, um, <laughs> because when I uh, joined the year long program, like, it was such a leap of faith for me, um, financially speaking, because my, my husband actually attended that conference and he had lost his job was part of the reason why he was able to do it. 
And I had transitioned from that six figure client and was sort or was transitioning and my husband was out of a job. Mm -hmm. Um, And so making a commitment to invest in myself and my business was so um, scary and foreign, but I knew that it was necessary for me to do it, to go to the next level. Mm -hmm. Um, And literally I have never had a problem, you know, making the investment. Um, I didn't know how all the time, but, but so if you, if you know, (laughs) you already know. And so I can just tell you personally to make the investment. If you are clear that, you know, you can see (laughs) what you're supposed to be accomplishing and you're not getting the results that you really need. And you know that you're supposed to be and need someone to work with, I would Stop, talk, stop listening to me and like get on the website and schedule your time because you will see transformation um, guaranteed. Yeah. Guaranteed. Um, and it's not worth, like all you lose is potential. The longer you wait, all you're losing is time and opportunity for more that you could have been um, gaining and getting. And I can, again, I can tell you that, and I say that um, proudly um, and with assurance um, that if you got the goods and you're ready and you need that support um, or you're not sure about what you're doing wrong or you've been playing small, pick up the phone, make the investment so we can be at the community events next year together. (laughs) celebrating your success. <laughs> Absolutely. Like, I mean, I would just say what one of the things, and I'm and I'm I purposely in doing these interviews, I'm not telling them what to say or not to say. Because I want them to share their journey and their experience with you and know that if it's just about whether or not you can make the investment, it's a mindset shift, right? Because once you decide God said it in his word. If you ask me, I will give it to you. It's unequivocal. There is no condition on it. What we we don't do is we make the ask, but then we turn away from the ask. And then we wonder why God didn't show up. Well, he's not going to show up when you're Mm wishy-washy, right? You have to be firm and you have to believe that it is possible. And that's why for me, it is so important not to separate church and state, but to teach you how to use these spiritual principles in order to enact everything that has been stored up and reserved for you, because otherwise you won't get it. And I just think, you know, what would what would have happened if you didn't say yes? I mean, the Marissa that I know and love today, the one that I saw from day one, wouldn't be coming into view right? And unapologetically coming into view. Because I think she peeked out a couple of times, but she put her head back in because she was so afraid of what people might say. But now she's just like, look, if I'm going to do it, I have to do it this way. I know who I am and I'm finally able to own that, right? And it just, it makes all the difference. And I would love, there's nothing that I would love more than at, at a minimum to have the conversation with you and see if we should be doing life together. Because if we should be, then that partnership will be everything that you need to go where you need to go. Yeah, I love that. I love your transparency. And, you know, like you said, we've we've grown together, you know, Um, because, you know, if you say one thing and then next year you say something different, you know, I'm gonna call it out. I'm (laughs) gonna say, I thought you said this, you're doing this. Right. So I'm going to keep you honest. And I, I just love being able to be in the space in the community where I get to be Marissa mm-hmm. um, and, and all of its glory. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, you know, so I, comp- I gripe a lot, but my bark is so much worse than my bite. Like I'm really harmless, but I do sort of resist a little bit. Um, but I would say like watching you grow as well and get to your happy has been a blessing too you know like it's not like we're out here and I think that that's the difference that um, one of your distinguishing differences is that 
um, you are authentic and transparent and you share your journey right along with us. Um, and so we don't, you know, it's not like, oh, I'm the sage from the stage and everybody else are, these are my peons. It's not like that. We're all in a journey um, together. And like you said, doing, we're doing it together. And I think that that um, makes your community and space um, special. Um, and it's, it's nothing like it in the marketplace because I, I take five certifications a year <laughs> usually and I'm in a lot of professional development I'm always learning and there is nothing like this um, out there period yeah well there you have it folks so if you are intrigued and you want to have a conversation with me or a member of the team all you need to do is go to darnielle.com forward slash session. Again, that's darnielle.com forward slash session. And nothing would bring me more joy than to have that conversation and see if we're the right fit to help you to break through to everything. Whatever that is for you, I got you. I got you. I got you. So thank you, Marissa. Anything you want to say in closing before we say goodbye to the people? Um, thank you. It is my joy to serve you. Oh my gosh, it's my joy. It, uh, yeah, I'm going to stop right there before we turn this into the uh, waterworks. <laughs> but it is my joy to serve the queen. Look at her shirt, y'all. She is the queen in every way. The Q in this particular scenario is standing for queen, Marissa Queen Payne. So it is my joy to serve you. Thank you so much for joining us. And for those of you who are ready, darnielle.com forward slash session. Until we meet again, I believe you deserve a business that should serve you. And I believe that if you would just raise your hand, God will meet you where you are and take you exactly where it is you would like to go. Be incredible. See you next time. Take care. I bet you didn't believe me when I told you that this interview with Marissa was going to be awesome and amazing, but I know now you are a believer. If you enjoyed our conversation and you want to connect directly with Marissa, make sure you check out the show notes for this episode to get a link to her website and anything that she's got going on because I don't want you to miss it. Also, just a quick shout out to the Six Figure Cashflow Club. Do yourself a favor and join us on Facebook in our exclusive community for training, laser coaching, and strategies to help you leverage your incredible factor and unlock six figure cash flow in your business. And you can do that by visiting sixfigurecashflowclub.com, sixfigurecashflowclub.com. Thank you for joining me for the Leverage Your Incredible Factor Business Podcast. I'd really love to help you grow a business that funds the life you crave while doing work that shakes the planet. Get started today by applying for a discovery session with me or a member of my team at darnielle.com forward slash session. And if you enjoyed our time together, do yourself a favor, head on over to iTunes, subscribe, rate, and leave us a review. Until next time, remember, you do deserve a business that funds the life you crave. Take care.